So Idub's boyfriend Anissa, aka Mandark from Dexter's Lab, has been training in the hyperbolic cry chamber for the past couple of days. She's been on live stream crying like a big baby because as per usual, she starts a problem, acts like a tough girl, gets called out, and then she goes ahead and plays victim. And while this is all going on, you got Idub's in the background like, yes honey, totally true. Right on. Why he looks like Theo Vaughn addicted to Ozempic. He also looks like a naked Movat that stole his haircut from a shower drain. Absolutely pathetic. Not a power couple whatsoever. Just a pair of law cows that just sit there and cry eh, online all day. And by the way, if you've ever seen their content, it's some of the worst stuff you've ever seen in your life. Some of the worst stuff I've seen inside my life. Essentially, here's the snuff of it. She sits there, emasculates him, makes fun of him. Yes, honey. You're an idiot. Totally true. You're stupid. Totally true. And if she's not doing that, she's sharing like TMI, too much information, not even like it's funny. It's just disgusting. She sat there and said she's so lazy, she can barely muster up the energy to brush her teeth. And I, she sometimes goes like weeks without shaving. And then on top of that, hold on, she even said that he keeps her on a leash. Well, to your own admission, you stink and you're hairy. So that does constitute you as an animal. So what else do we do with animals? Of course we put you on a leash, idiot. Like, I don't get what she's even coming out of her mouth. She sits there and stole her haircut from Gohan from the fucking Namek saga. This chick is absolutely pathetic. And she is 30 years old. I kid you not. 30. And this is what she did inside of her live stream. 30 years old. 3-0. <clears throat> I'm unhinged. I'm unhinged. If I was in one of your faces, you would cry. Well, of course. I mean, I can only imagine what your breath smells like. You would cry. <laughs> I'm not even, she was 30 years, she's a 30 year old woman who flipped off the camera, unironically, out of anger. Absolutely pathetic. And he sits there and they act like some like moral superior, like, we're the mature ones, we're the mature ones. You're fucking in your 30s flipping off the camera out of anger. You kidding me? You're so pathetic. And my favorite part, oh, oh, we're eating a night. She sits there and says, you guys don't have real jobs. You guys don't have real jobs. And because she worked out like a Dairy Queen, giving out milkshakes. Would you like fries with that? That, oh, dude, 99.9% .9 of the globe has a real job, okay? As a matter of fact, more than half of the globe is in slave labor. Do you understand that? That only like the US has a minimum wage? We're one of the, well, I think we're the only country, if not only a few, and that most places like Africa and like Asia, and in Japan, especially where these people work for crumbs, little crumbs, like, yeah, you just worked a 56 hour shift. Here's your $5. And you're sitting there mad that you made, what, 13 bucks an hour giving out milkshakes? You forgot the cherry on top. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, you know what I do for a living besides YouTube? I work 15 to 16 hour shifts as a renovation guy. As I'm climbing 20 feet into a shelf. You go to a Home Depot, you see those shelves? Yeah, I climb into those shelves and go for other companies, Harbor Freight, Lowe's, climb 20 feet into them, no harness, popping off those 30 pound grates with one hand as I'm holding on, grabbing a wrench, pulling off the damn bolt, putting it in my mouth, as I pop off the shelves, yo, hand me up the other shelf. Throw it up there, I get the hammer, boom, 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 locking up my leg, yo, hand me back up the grate, uh, boom. Climb back down, go inside of a forklift, because I'm forklift certified and I have a recertification, Go and put up pallets after pallet after pallet, doing that for 15, 16 hours a day, five to six to sometimes seven days a week. You don't know what you're talking about. You've never had an actual hard working job. And I'm not gonna sit here and discredit people who work in fast food. If you have a job, good. I'm glad you had a job. But to sit here and be like, most of you guys don't know what hard work is. 99.9% .9 of the globe has had a job. As you sit there with three to 400 people watching you live, crying about, oh God, people make fun of me online for being an idiot. Why you emasculate your husband, cut off his balls, put it in a jar, put it on the top shelf, and you think he'd try to climb up and be like, give me my balls back. No, he grabs a stick and pushes it even further back because he doesn't want his balls. He loves that you put them back there. You kidding me? As you sit on a podcast, it's been three weeks since I wiped my ass. That's what I love about you, honey. You kidding me? And you compared yourself to Onision? Onision is the last human being on earth I'd ever want to compare myself to. And yet you want to put yourself in the same category as him? You kidding me? You're just a lazy bum. That's what you are. You're a lazy bum. You do OnlyFans, and even at that, from what I heard, you haven't uploaded content in months. 
All you gotta do is take a picture of your butt cheeks and upload it. You can't even do that. You can't be fucked to brush your teeth. You can't be using. I shaved my hair short, so I have to take care of it. Can't even take care of your teeth. Can't take care of your hair. Can't shave your legs. Can't even take a picture of your butt cheeks. You can't do nothing except sit on a podcast and emasculate your husband for views. And then when you get called out for being an idiot and a dope, <laughs> what? Oh my god, you're pathetic. You're pathetic and you got the same tattoo on your chest like Conor McGregor. Get out of here! Oh my god, holy. What an awful couple. You both were just like a match made in heaven. She said that you, you have her on a leash. Okay. Dude, if she told you to eat a turd off the ground, you, dude, we would look at you and like half a second you would have it all up in your teeth like that stunt from Jackass when they ate the horse shit. You ain't got to say it a second time. You ain't say, are you sure? You would just do it. You're a whipping boy. That is a whipping boy. And you're just some like weird ass mastodon to him. A mastodon to him. And I'll tell you why. I know exactly why this is. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, you ready to know why? It's not something that's going to blow your mind. It's exactly what we all know what it is. <clears throat> Get yourself a girlfriend. Get yourself a girlfriend. Come on, step right up. Get yourself a girlfriend. Oh, well, what's the price? Hand in your balls, hand in your career, hand in everything, but you'll get yourself what is known as company. You'll get someone to lay with, someone to smell with, someone that's very hairy and disgusting, has no talent, and sits there and just cries like a baby, but you have someone to hold. Oh, well, here's my balls. Can I get girlfriend? Can I get girlfriend? Oh, go, go, geeky. Can I get girlfriend? Walked right out of there with her. Walked, he turned in everything just so you can have some company. Because you know what? I'm so sick and tired. I've seen some of my boys do this. where well, they would turn in everything just to have a partner. And, I, and women do this too. And it's such a sad thing. Listen, if you're in a toxic relationship in which you're just putting up with someone's garbage. And you're just being treated like dirt. Just leave that person. Sit down, recover from the relationship. And get yourself up in value. And then go back out there. You don't got to sit there and put up with the abuse, the verbal abuse, the controlling, all that garbage. That is just garbage. You're worth something. You have value as an individual. Whether man or woman, you have value. You have value as a person. And you deserve it. Don't sit there in a toxic relationship where you're being talked down to and being treated like garbage. And you got to question if you're actually loved or not. That's horrible. Don't be like this guy. Be someone beautiful on the inside and the outside. If you got to break up with somebody because you know what? You're just like, yo, we broke up like 50 times already. I'm just done. And take a couple of months to yourself. Work on yourself. And then get back out there and see if you can find someone who actually deserves you. Don't drink poison just because you're thirsty. That's garbage. That's garbage. And you know what the best part about all this is? Is the fact that we all know deep down in our hearts, if the old iDubs was here, he would make a content cop on himself. Because he turned in everything. He did a 180 on who he is, on what he believes in. And people were pulling up clips from the past where he's literally just dunking on himself unintentionally. Because obviously he didn't know this is what he would become. And it's just absolutely pathetic. Ugh. Take that shit with your son, even for $3.99. I mean, there's just so much to talk about this woman. She's the she's like the gift that just keeps on giving. She's a walking Christmas. And this is why commentary bros talk about it. Because she doesn't stop giving content. She is literally the white Jada Pinkett. That's what this is. Everybody ever call her the white Jada Pinkett. She is the white Jada Pinkett. And he's the white Will Smith. Just taking this like this public humiliation. Just getting dunked on, getting his legs broken, cruel stuff. Finger roll two. Step back, hard and shot. What's going on? What is this? Do you like this? It's absolutely ridiculous, man. Now, on top of that, I don't know if I even brought this up. She got him hopped up on pills because she was saying, I got autism, I got BPD, and I have this, and I have that. She's like collecting mental illnesses like they're Pokemon, right? And she's like, I think you got something. I think we should get checked out. You should get checked out by a therapist. And now he's like on Adderall or something. He's like, Yes, honey. I can see colors far beyond than what the rainbow portrays. 
That's good. That's good. Up the dosage. Happy, happy, happy. I'm so happy. Beep, 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 beep. It's five o'clock. It's time for my happy pill. Happy, happy pill. Happy, happy pill. I'm so happy. Happy, happy pill. Happy, happy pill. Get the fuck out of here, y'all. Get the fuck out of here. Get him out of here. Oh my God, this is so sad, yo. I can't even believe it. If she wanted him to walk on coals, he would penguin. He would inchworm on coals if she said to walk. If she says jump, he says how high. This is just the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. That's why I started this off by saying boyfriend, because she owns his soul. She owns his soul. So sad. Too bad. It's hopefully it's the last time I ever got to see a grown ass woman go like to a camera. 30 years old. Go pay your fucking mortgage. That's the end of the video. <laughs> like, baby, share, like, the comment, subscribe. I'm your boy, Cole Raven. As per usual, oh, say it with me. Two thumbs down. Thumbs